What's up, everybody? I'm Finn McKenty. This is the Punk Rock MBA, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get started with email marketing. Now, you might be asking yourself, you might be thinking to yourself, email, isn't that for old people? Well, turns out email marketing is actually pretty awesome for some people. If you'll notice, I said why you might want to use email marketing, which I'm going to explain in a minute. It's not for everybody, but if you have a product to sell, you definitely need email marketing. I'm going to explain why. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to create a free email list using MailChimp. Third thing is how to set up a form that's going to collect email subscribers for that list. And then lastly, what to do with those subscribers once you get them. So first question is, why would you want to use email marketing? Again, you might think nobody uses email marketing. You are wrong. Email marketing can be pretty awesome for these reasons, which I'm going to show you. First of all, you can potentially reach five or ten times as many people than you would via social media. Second thing is, do you own those followers forever? Of course, unless you spam the shit out of your email list and they subscribe and leave you. And then lastly, you can also, there's a way to upload that list to Facebook and target them, specifically target those people by email address and Facebook or Instagram ads. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial, but if you want to know how, let me know and I can give you a link. So as I said, you can potentially reach way more people with email than you can with social media because as we all know, social media, the organic reach on social media sucks balls. As an example here for URM Academy, one of the companies that I'm a partner in, we have 21,000 likes on our page, but only 176 people were reached when I posted a link to this blog post. That sucks. It's only 0.83% of our followers. And, you know, that's actually pretty tip. I mean, it's kind of low, but it's not that low. Like 1% to 2% of your followers is a pretty typical number. So this is a little bit below average, but not that much. And the reason why is because, as I said in another video uh, earlier this week, Facebook does not want you to leave Facebook because the way that they make money, the same way Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and every other platform makes money, is by keeping you there and showing you ads. So if you're trying to link to your blog, Facebook is like, fuck that shit. <laughs> We're not showing that post to anybody. And you know, you'll get better reach with things like video and images and stuff like that because they don't take you off of Facebook. But still, the point is that organic reach sucks. You guys know this if you have ever seen, like if you've ever been frustrated by how few of your followers see something, you know that this is true. And then the second thing is that you do not actually own your relationships with your social media followers. So you can look, I mean, these are two examples I found, you know, Instagram deleted my account with 135,000 followers and zero warning. This other woman uh, had a Facebook page with 28,000 fans that got shut down due to some error on the part of Facebook or so she thinks. The point is that you can just, you can spend all this time and energy and effort building up a following on any one of these social media platforms and it can just get taken away any time, either because you have, you know, uh, violated one of the terms of services that you didn't even know about, or because of a mistake on their part, whatever, you've seen this happen to other people, and then you've got to start over from scratch because you don't own those people. You don't own those followers. You're just using a platform that somebody else owns, right? Now, don't get me wrong. Social media is great. It's super powerful. You should be investing in it, but remember that you don't actually own them. And that's different with email. That's a huge reason why you might want to think about email marketing. So for example, uh, when I write a new blog post, I send an email about it. You can see that over here. So uh, this particular one I sent to, uh, right now I have a little over 4,000 people on the mailing list. This is from a couple months ago when I had 3,400. So I sent this to 3,400 people and look, 20, almost 22% of people opened that email. That's the same as like reach on social media, basically. Uh, so 22% of people opened this email and read this. 2.5% uh, of them clicked on it, which is actually not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, and look, this is way, but so there's one way to look at it is only 22% of people opened it. Yes. But remember, compare that to, you know, this compare that to 0.83%. And you can see that's what's that like 20. Yeah. That's like 20 times more people saw this blog post 
when I send it to them via email versus posting about it on Facebook, right? That is the power of email marketing. And 2.5% of them click through it. So, you know, it's not a huge number of people, but it's something. It's more than I would have gotten on Facebook. Uh, and then to the point about how you don't own your social media followers, you do own the the email addresses that you collect in uh, in in whatever software you use. So this is like my old email address. You can see this is years old when I only had 400 people on it. But it's as simple as clicking export, and then it will like export a text file of all those email addresses. So you can save those to your hard drive to back it up. If you want to change to a different email platform, you can just upload that list again. So if for whatever reason your account got shut out, you shut down, you're not starting over from scratch. You just upload that list and pick up where you left off. So those are kind of the main reasons why you might want to think about email marketing. Again, it's not for everybody, but it's if you if if any of this sounds interesting to you, then you might want to think about it. So if it sounds interesting, you are asking yourself, well, how do I do it? Here are the steps. It's actually really simple to the, you know, you can get very, uh, I'm going to show in a more uh, advanced example of how we use this for get good drums. Email marketing can get very complex, but just to create a simple sign up form for your email list is really easy. Here's how you do it. First thing is to sign up for a free MailChimp account. There's lots of other email marketing platforms out there. I actually don't even like MailChimp that much, but it's free and it's easy to use. It's very common, so that's what I would suggest. I use one called Active Campaign that I like better. But anyway, you sign up for that free MailChimp account. You create a new list. I suggest you enable these two options here, which I'll talk about in a little bit more detail later, double opt-in and GDPR that will help protect you from spam laws that apply to email marketing. Third thing is you're going to create a sign-up form. Then you're going to create a landing page with that sign-up form. So that's just a web page that you can send people to to go, hey, click here to sign up for my email list. And then lastly, you have to actually get them to go to that landing page and sign up for it, which uh, I'm not going to cover in too much detail because that's sort of a whole other a whole other challenge that's outside the scope of this tutorial, but then you will be ready to rock. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to, well, let's, let, I already have a MailChimp account. Um, when you log in, you will see something like this. So what you want to do is first create a new list. And uh, this, again, this is my old mailing list here that I don't use anymore. We're going to go create a, create a list. Uh, there's a, also a thing called tags, which MailChimp just just uh, just added tags are better than lists in a lot of ways, but I'm going to ignore them in this tutorial just, just to keep it simple. So create list, I'm gonna call it Finn's Cool List. And the default address is going to be finnmckinty at gmail.com. And the default from name is Finn McKinty. And you need to tell people why they signed up to the list. So you say, you gave me your email address at a show. If, for example, that's how you're going to collect email addresses, you actually do have to put in a physical um, mailing address. That's It's the law. You can read here as to you know the regulations that apply here. It's anti-spam stuff. Um, this is not my address anymore. So if you show up to this address, I don't live there anymore. So... You can go try to stalk me if you want, but you will fail. Uh, you, I would recommend that you check both of these settings. I'm not going to explain what they are in this tutorial because it's complicated, but they are. if you enable these things, it's much less likely that you will run into problems with uh, spam, so with, with being designated as a spammer. So I'd recommend you enable these things. Read up on them if you want to know more, uh, and then you click Save. And boom, there you go. Now you have a, a mailing list, but you don't have anybody on that mailing list. Well, how do you do that? Like I said before, if you have, uh, if you already have a mailing list, you can just import it. In this case, we don't have a mailing list, so we're going to create a sign-up form where people can do that. So there's a few different ways you can do that here. You can embed a form on your blog or something. We're going to choose Form Builder. So we're going to select that, and we are going, you know, there's lots and lots of different options here. We're just going to do a sign up form and we are going to, uh, you can customize this here. This is the form that they're actually going to see. Here's the URL for it. So this is where you're going to send people. 
and you can see it's really simple. It's just like, you know, they put in their information here and that's all there is to it. So you can customize this, you know, you can add all these fancy things like their birthday and their website and their phone number and blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm just going to leave this uh, as it is, but you know, you, you guys are smart. You understand how to edit a form. And that is all there is to it. Um, once you have that, you are done. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Now you have a, um, you have this uh, list and you have a sign up form. So now all you need to do is get people to go to the landing page and sign up for it. So you could do that like um, you could have if you're in a band or you do events or something, you could have an iPad there with this thing open on it and they could put in there and go, hey, thanks for coming by our merch table. Hey, sign up here and we'll send you a coupon or something like that. Or you could put it in the link uh, in the description of a YouTube video. You know, you get creative. There's lots of different ways you can get people to go to the landing page. Again, that's a whole other conversation here, which I'm not going to get into, but that's all there is to it. Now you have everything you need to start collecting an email list. And the question is, what do you do with that list once you have it? Well, you know, you guys are on a bunch of mailing lists, I'm sure. So you get the idea, you know, you send them an update. If you have a new product, a new song, whatever it is that you do, send them an update on it. Hey, guys, we just came out with a new music video. Check it out. It's right here. Um, you can, if you have a blog, you can, uh, as I showed you earlier, you can send people uh, emails notifying them uh, that you have a new blog post and hope that they read it. And of course, you can ask them to buy stuff. But like I said, you don't want to abuse this because if you send people too many sales emails, they're just going to think you're a fucking spammer. And then you'll end up with a list full of people who hate you. We don't want that. <clears throat> so uh, lastly, if, if you're wondering kind of what the benchmarks are for success, these are two just ballpark numbers. Roughly speaking, if you're getting 20% of people to open your emails, you're doing good. And if 2 to 5% of people click through like, you know, the button at the bottom of it, you're doing good. So these numbers are not like set in stone, but broadly speaking, um, you can use those as a guideline. So I walked you through the simple uh, use case for this. I'm going to show you an, a, a more advanced example, and there's stuff that gets even more advanced than this, but um, one of the companies I'm a partner in is called Get Good Drums. We sell drum software, like virtual drum software. And one of the ways that we build our email list is by offering people a free product called the Get Good Drums Light Kit. It's basically like a really simple version of uh, the software that we sell in exchange for their email. So give us your email address and we will send you our free piece of software. Once they give us their email address, they get dropped into an automated follow-up sequence, which I'll show you. They get, I think, like six emails and the last one is a coupon. And not everybody uses that coupon, of course, but enough people do that we make a little bit of money from when they use those coupons and that pays for all the costs of building up our email list. So basically, we get to build our email list for free and we get, you know, I don't know, probably a few hundred people a week downloading this thing. So our email list just grows and grows and grows on its own for free. And if you are interested, if you're technical, uh, we use Shopify and Active Campaign to do this, but there's lots of other email marketing platforms that will do this. Uh, again, Active Campaign is just the one that I like to use. So let's look at how that works for Get Good Drums. Uh, so if you go to getgooddrums.com, you can see all the products here. Oh, this one costs money. This one costs money. Wait, this one's free. I want the free thing. So you go here and add to cart and check out. And then you give us your email address here. And uh, yeah, so and then once you do that, you get dropped into our marketing software, which again is uh, called Active Campaign. In Active Campaign, you can set up all these different like automation triggers. So I have one here called the Light Kit Nurture Sequence. So you can see once they once they download the Light Kit, now they get dropped into this sequence. So immediately they get this email here that um, shows them how to set up the thing that they just downloaded. They get that immediately. Then it waits for two days. You can see there's 100 people who are waiting in this step. In two days, they get another email that shows them how to do some other stuff, shows them how to use the software a little bit in a little bit more detail. Then waits two more days. You can see there's another 91 people waiting at this step. Then after that, they get this email that has some more 
tips on how to use the thing that they downloaded. And they wait another two days, they get an email, one more educational email, which you can see here if it will show it to me. Uh, yeah, so anyway, you get the idea. They get a series of these educational emails, and then finally they get um, this email here, like I said, with the coupon in it. So, hey, I hope you have been enjoying this thing that you've been using for free. If you want the full version of this, you get $20 off if you use this coupon code at checkout. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, and then you can even do some more like branching logic here, which I'm not going to explain. But anyway, you get the idea. This is the power of email marketing. You can set up all of these crazy, like super complex automations and stuff like that that just do all the stuff in the background for you. I set this up probably, I don't know, um, probably a year and a half ago or something like that. And it's just been running on its own you know, all that time collecting thousands and thousands of emails in the background and sending this coupon automatically, and I don't do shit. So anyway, that again, that's advanced. Um, you don't need to worry about that stuff. Um, for 99.9% .9 of you guys, uh, if you just set up the simple MailChimp form that I explained, you're going to be in good shape. Um, if you sell a product, if you're technical and you want to uh, get into more detail about this, then by all means do it. And if you have any questions about it, I'd be happy to, to talk about it. Um, just a few closing thoughts here. Email marketing, like I said, is not for everybody. For some people, it's overkill. Uh, if you are not interested in uh, putting the effort into like managing all this stuff, if you're not, if you don't want to, uh, if, if the technical stuff scares you, then you know you could probably skip it if you're in a band or if you're an artist or something like that. But if you sell a product, you really, really should consider email marketing. It can make you so much money. Second thing is do not spam your list. As I said, only send emails that you personally would want to get. Don't be a spammer. Nobody likes that person. Third thing is, if you live in the EU, you need to understand GDPR. I think that this is something that most of you guys probably are aware of. If you're not, go read about it. It's a big deal. Um, you need to know about it if you do digital marketing. And Americans, you should read about it too, but it's less important for you. And then lastly, if you want lots and lots and lots more information on email marketing, you can go to digitalmarketer.com and read all their blog posts. They're awesome. They go into tons of detail and they're free. They have some paid courses, which are also excellent, but even just the free ones are definitely worth checking out. You'll learn a lot from those. All right, guys, there you go. That concludes my tutorial on how to get started with email marketing. Now you know how to do it. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed or for some bizarre reason you do not want to subscribe, at least give the video a like, leave a comment, share it with a friend. Anything that you can do to help spread the word would be very much appreciated. And with that, I'm going to sign off for now, but I will see you next time.